Elon Musk believes that Neuralink will be a massive step in the field of brain to computer integrations, which is a key aspect for the development of full dive virtual reality. Neuralink is essentially a wireless implant that will be surgically installed in the skull. The implant's electrodes will be hooked up to the patient's brain, creating a symbiotic relationship between man and machine. This implant, in the near future, will have science fiction type capabilities which will fix neurological diseases and enhance the brain to increase productivity and intelligence within the user. With Neuralink, you will be able to summon your Tesla car with only a thought, play a video game from StarCraft to Doom, or even use it to look up answers on an exam. As Elon Musk said, it will be similar to a Fitbit, but in your mind. Now all those things are great, but how will Neuralink be a catalyst for full dive virtual reality? Well, Neuralink has many applications for this. During a Neuralink presentation, Elon Musk described that this technology will soon be able to read and write to the brain. If done successfully, it will be a huge step towards full dive VR. In order to achieve full dive, one of the things we would definitely need is a computer that can communicate effectively with the brain. Although Neuralink doesn't necessarily have most of these functionalities right now, it still has some promising developments that are super exciting. For example, during one of Elon Musk's Neuralink experiments, he displayed the use of this technology on some pigs. Since pigs and humans are anatomically similar, the results from this experiment are even more amazing. With the Neuralink installed, the scientists were able to predict the location of the pig's limbs and body while it was moving, to a high degree of accuracy. The Neuralink takes in information from the brain and reads it to determine what your brain is telling your body to do in space. This development is amazing because it can be used to predict user input in a virtual reality setting. This technology is perfect for full body tracking inside of the game. It would be of great use for the developers that need a solution to how the users will move around in the virtual world. An early application of this would be the use of movement of virtual limbs for paraplegic people in different games like Rec Room or VRChat. The quality of life for those types of people would be exponentially better if they're able to fully move in a virtual setting. Although there is no evidence, Elon Musk confirmed with the public that with the use of Neuralink, a monkey was able to control a computer with its brain. This is great because it means that this technology is most likely ready to be implanted into humans. Right now, they are just dealing with different regulatory hoops that they have to jump through. Even though some of these developments are not necessarily enough to create full dive right now, it is a fantastic start to get the ball rolling. Along with that, according to Elon Musk, the Neuralink will help its users become extremely more productive. Some people will even take out loans to obtain the Neuralink, in which they will be able to pay it back fast with their increased productivity. With a more productive society, high levels of innovation will follow soon after, which will also contribute to the race to full dive. As the different aspects and use of this technology are seen by the world, more resources will be allocated towards brain to computer interfaces. Soon, everyone will be using Neuralink or some type of computer in their brain to augment reality. As time goes on, people and computers will slowly mesh together, which will lead to the full dive experience. The development of full dive VR really depends on how much the industry evolves through time. When people understand the benefits of things that come with Neuralink, it will act as a catalyst for other companies to start working on these brain to computer interfaces. So you never know, you could have full dive VR sooner than you'd think. If you don't believe me, maybe you'll believe Elon Musk. If you assume any rate of improvement at all, then games will be indistinguishable from reality. Or civilization will end. One of those two things will occur.